morning. How is everybody doing today? I am Shantae Marie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're going to be continuing our little conversation about getting the highest score on your ASVAB that you can possibly get. Alrighty, so right now I'm actually working. Let me just show you guys. <laughs> I'm working on class stuff and I do have homework for it. So it's helping me to basically be able to tell you this information. So today we're going to be discussing like math information that is very helpful as well as vocabulary. So number one, the math portion of your ASVAB you really want to make sure that you know like your basic math so multiplication division um, adding and subtracting if you know that really well it's going to help you increase your speed when it comes to solving problems so if you get a word problem and it seems like it's very difficult a lot of times it's not it's just being able to pick out the pertinent information and then answering the math problem as quickly as possible. So a really easy way for you to do this is to understand the verbiage being used for the word problem. And that's going to be able to tell you like this is an addition problem or this is a subtraction problem. And basically I made four note cards, one for each basic math situation. So addition, subtraction, you get the, you get it. So for the addition one, this isn't a complete list, but you want to make sure that you look for words in the question that say things like total, all together, join, both, in all, some, plus. I will have all four of the cards in the bottom for you guys to look at if you want to write that down. Um, it's just nice to have reference so that you know. So I am going to go ahead and say that making note cards is going to help you in your studying, especially for the vocabulary, is that there are about 300 vocabulary words that I recommend that you know. These vocabulary words are all potentially on your test. like. Not every single one is going to be on your test specifically, but if you know all 300 of these words or have some reference or have seen it before, your mind is more likely to remember it. And not only that, but Once you know that you'll potentially have more success answering the questions. So I'm only going to give you the first, the first two lists today, uh, just because it's kind of a lot. And these two lists I recommend getting on dictionary.com and looking up the definition. Some of them will not have a very good definition and you might have to go to like the thesaurus part of dictionary.com, but you wanna look up the definition and write that on a note card. And then you also wanna pick three synonyms. If you don't know what a synonym means, it means words that are the same. So just think synonym starts with an S and it means same. And uh, you wanna pick three that are like generic that you would know, cause some of the ones that they list are like really big words that you probably don't know because I definitely did not know some of them. But I would just write those down, put them on your note cards, and then every night, like before you go to bed, go through them, run through them a couple of times. And that's really gonna help you to be familiar with those words. All right guys, so we're just, I'm just getting to Fort Riley for class. And as I said in my previous video, I am retaking my ASVAB test. So I am coming here every single day and basically the teacher is just helping me and that's the information that I'm receiving is what I'm putting out to you guys. The biggest tip that I've received so far, understanding how the ASVAB test is like divided and how those scores are actually calculated. It, honestly gave me a totally different perspective as to what I'm really trying to accomplish, especially since I am retaking 
my test. Um, this is information that I did not have the first time that I took it, but basically the teacher went through and told me exactly how many questions I could miss. Like, basically I said to her, well, my weakest point is math. And she told me how many questions in the math portion that I could miss and how many I like needed to get right in the other portions to even it out and still allow me to get a 110 GT score. Like if anything, you all just want to make sure that you get a 110 GT score or better. Like you really need to try to do that because if you if you don't do that, then it's going to be very difficult and you'll end up being like me having to, to retake the ASVAB if you want to do something different with your career. So I am going to list the information about how the ASVAB is uh, calculated and like divided up in the down bar as well. This is going to wrap up this video for today's Military Monday. I thank you guys so much for tuning in again. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you're informed every time that I upload another video like this. I also have all of my military videos in a playlist on my channel just to make it easier for you guys. So I will link that up here so you guys can tune into that as well. I'll see you guys in next Monday's Military Monday video. And it will be another follow-up video in this series about retaking, taking your ASVAB test. So thank you guys so much. I love you and I will see you in my next one.